Okay, so... So yesterday we left off where it says um, uh, we did a mounting and um, let's do DFF and H. So I rebooted the system here, right? If I do DFF and H, the, the mount is not there anymore. Okay? So you have to edit one file to make this permanent here. So it's called persistent with the reboot. Okay, so let's uh, edit the file. So I'm going to insert this here. Okay, so so what we need to do is we need to make an entry. We need to make an entry into the file here. So where is that file? You go into vi slash etc slash fs tab, okay? And hit enter. So here you have to go in here, okay? And what you got to do is do this. Uh, usually what you do is copy copy the existing line here, okay? So you do YY and then do paste it again. And uh, okay, so YY paste it again. And then what we need to do here is you need to edit this here. So our file was slash dev slash sdb1, okay? So slash dev slash sdb1. Okay, and Okay, let me Okay, so this was slash def sub slash s d b one and the swap is the swap is actually the mon point here, so slash Chicago. Okay, slash Chicago. Okay, and it's asking here what type this is. This this is a what type of file extension is this? Is this ext4? Okay, and it's just leave it alone as defaults. And then it says zero and zero. So we'll come back to this uh, later on, what the zero zero means, okay? And uh, just save and exit. Okay, so what we need to do is
we need to um, <clears throat> so you go into VI ETCFS tab. I'm going to get rid of these lines here. And then you made this entry here okay the good uh, practice is to copy the previous line and then just just do the edit here okay all right everybody got it here right what I did so far I copied the first line and I just uh, made an edit here this is the more this is the This is the file system and then the second one is a slash Chicago is a mon point. Okay. So what happens now is if I do df hyphen edge, Chicago is not there here, right? The file system is not there. Okay, so the command to reload this is mount hyphen a so what this does is this command is mount mount the file system all so what is this command is going to do is this command is going to go through inside the fs tab and load any of this file system which are not mounted here so take a notice here if I type mount hyphen a then it comes back without an error so if I type df hyphen h now the Chicago is loaded here okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and restart the system and see if it's gonna stick it okay Okay, this command will mount file system from FS tab. Okay, and now um, what you could do is you could see here is the evidence here it reloaded. I'm just gonna copy this part here, and now you can reboot to see if the settings will will be saved okay so I'm gonna clear this df hyphen h okay so I'm gonna reboot
Okay, the system is rebooted. I'm going to log in here. And then I'm going to run the command df hyphen h. And you should see, uh oh. Yeah, it's here. So the, so the folder Chicago is now mapped here on the reboot. Okay. This is called persistent with the reboot. So if the system reboots, then it will not lose the um, mounting configuration. Okay. So now what we have done here is we have used it to mount using the file system here, right? So what else we could do is there is a process you could mount this using the ID. All this, all these devices, all these devices has a universal ID here, okay? So let me clear this. If you type the command BLK ID, you will see a very long list of IDs here. Okay, so these are alphanumeric UUIDs. Okay, so look, let's look at the one we have here, SBD1. And this one has a UUID. Okay. All right, let me talk about what UUID is. Um, Okay, what does UUID stands for? Uh, UUID. UUID is stands for Universal um, Unique Identifier. Okay. So it's a 128 bit number used to ID uh, ID info in computer system. I think in Windows environment they also have UUID okay so let's take a look here Okay, it's not see. I can't see it here. 
but let's move forward here. So what we could do here is you copy this ID def slash sbd1 you copy this ID okay and go into vi slash etc slash fs tab okay and hit enter so here what you could do is def slash sdb1 you remove that you delete this part everything else should remain the same and I'm going to paste it in here so what will happen is this UUID is associated with slash SDB1 okay all right so yeah we put in the UUID instead of instead of your name I'm putting in the ID here and this should work okay let me save and exit and you type blk id when you type blk id you will get you could you could get to see the id information uuid information for UUID information for this uh, device okay and I'm gonna highlight this okay then what you do is you go into VI ETC FS tab all right everybody following me right let me know if you have questions so you run this command here VI ETC FS tab and make an entry like this okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unmount this okay to test I'm gonna unmount slash Chicago okay you mount slash Chicago okay now test it um, once you make entry into the FS tab this will be persistent with reboot okay to test Okay, so what I'm going to do is to test, I'm going to run this command, umont, umont hyphen uh, slash Chicago, what is this going to do is, is going to unmount this, okay, uh, umont, u-m-o-u-n-t, that's the correct command, Chicago, so what will happen is, uh, this part will be gone here, so if you type df hyphen h, and hit enter, there is no more Chicago here. I don't see Chicago here. Okay. Clear. Then you type mount hyphen A. And I do DF hyphen H. And my Chicago is back here. Okay. If I go to Chicago, all my files are there. Mount hyphen A. then you would run the command dffnh okay so <clears throat> so these are these are pretty advanced topics here okay so 
make sure you have a good hang of LVM uh, I'm sorry this uh, disk management okay this will be you you will be definitely using this day in and day out every day most of the jobs uh, would require you to be able to manage this uh, hard drive here so we're not done yet I'm gonna see what else uh, okay so we used we use using the we we have two methods here so far we used uh, a mon point method and a, a UUID method okay now also in this mon point we could label this mon point here okay so we could assign a tag so how are we gonna do that okay so let me go CD and if you type um, uh if you type um, lsblk and hit enter um uh, one point and uh, okay let me do blk id blk id So you see here, we have a SD dev slash SDB one, and it has a UUID, and it's showing us what type is this, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna add the label here, okay? Label means uh, sometimes a UUID is not as readable, and also slash SDB one is not as readable, right? You could assign a label. Okay, so let me clear this. So how am I going to assign the label? The command is e2 label slash dev slash sdb1 and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a label name. So I'm going to give it Zafar underscore data okay ours I'm gonna give ZMPT underscore data and hit enter now I'm gonna do BLK ID so you now you should see here that um, clear this night a blk id by the way blk blk stands for block id this command so now you could see here sdb1 it has a label name in here and it has a uuid and a type also so we're going to use you're going to use this information to put it in fs tab okay all right so what will happen now is so I'm going to call this uh, mount using uh, label Okay, so uh, this is the command. Okay, this is the command, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into 
vi slash etc slash fs tab okay um, and then put it in here copy this part here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comfortably delete this part insert and I'm um, oops I'm gonna paste it in here so the label is ZMPT data slash Chicago and everything else remain the same okay all right I'm gonna quit this save and exit okay um, guys I'm telling you this is really important this part now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let me get, just go ahead and reboot here okay if you look at DFF and H and you should see this you should see this come back here okay let's let me unmount it you mount slash Chicago and hit enter I do DFF and H so what should happen is where during the reboot it should read the FS tab and then it will mount this automatically okay so I'm gonna do init 6 okay let the system boot Okay, it's back now. So I'm going to re log in. Okay, so do test. okay um, reboot or mount hyphen a okay I'm gonna clear the screen and if I type DF hyphen H now my Chicago is back in here okay all right so we are done with this part here so next thing what we're gonna do is so we can, what we're gonna do next thing is we're gonna extend the I nodes here okay so um, if you type DF hyphen I this gives you the information about the I nodes here okay so on this system you could have uh, SBD1 you could have uh, 262,144 files okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here
Okay, so what I'll do is I will um, df hyphen i. So what I'll do is I'll create some uh, blank files here in here so that I'll demonstrate uh, how to increase the inodes here, okay? And it will show you how much percent is used. So what I'm going to do here is I'll create uh, touch um, F. Don't worry about this. I will go over this. 200,000. Okay, I'm going to uh, 262,000. I'm going to create 262,000 files in here, okay? So we'll see how it goes. All right. Mm. So I have 100,000 files here. Okay, let me clear the screen. And So what I'm doing is I'm just creating a bunch of junk files here, okay? If I do DFF and I, so what happened here is we have already used so 100, 200,000 files are already used, only 65,000 inodes is left. And 77% of the number of required inodes is, is used up here. So we, we could have another 62,000 files in here, okay? After that, it will give us the error message. Uh, if you do DFF and H, Okay, the size is still 1%. So what will happen is, uh, let me create more files here so that there is no more. There is no more. Um, what will happen is when there is no more files to create, it will give the message disk is full. Mm. It's not creating it.
Okay, so it may not want to create. Let me try this here. So far, I'm only trying to use up all the inodes I could think of. Okay, let me clear this if I do DF hyphen I. Okay, so what happened is 100% of the inodes is being used. There is no more inodes. And if I do DF hyphen H, the disk size, the physical disk size is still there. Only 1% is used here, okay? So watch out. Now what I'm gonna do is touch file one and uh, so what I'm trying to get to is uh, get to a place where it says it will tell you uh, no more file is there or disk space is there Okay, so 35 is there, All right? Okay, yeah. This is where I wanted to come to, where it says like, all the files, all the I know are used up, right? All the I are used up. Matter of fact, it has like one extra one. So now if I do like touch, file x it says here cannot touch the file here no space is left on the device but if you do dff on h so there is a, a lot of spaces still left here so what will happen is you will get uh, you will get information from you will get a ticket that says uh, to look into this here it's 100% and it's 100% used up here. So what you have to do is, you have to increase the size of the inode here. Okay, so, but what will happen here is, it will destroy the data on the disk here. So usually what you do in this situation is, you would go in here and run this command. And if you have too many files here, you will tell whoever is keeping the many files to remove some files here. But we'll take a look here how to extend the inodes. So how do I extend the inodes? I'm gonna clear this, I'm gonna get out of this. So what do I have to type is, uh, let me just copy df hyphen i. You have uh, no more.
okay so no more inodes is left but the disk space is you will have you have a lot of disk space Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so we're going to check the inodes. So now, uh, for the demo purpose, I ran this command here, right? Um, just for when you when you guys are practicing you just do this here and Okay, so what you're going to do is now um, you get the error. No more, no more file is left, no more space is left here. Okay, so you have to look into this here. This is a wrong error. It's not giving you the character. It says no more space is left here. So, but you as a Linux engineer, you have to uh, run these commands here and find out what the problem is, okay? So what you have to do is you have to, if you want to extend the extend the I nodes, okay. So what you have to do is mkfs. Dot ext4. Okay, hyphen n. And uh, how much we have? Two hundred thousand, right? I'm gonna make it five hundred thousand. I'm going to make it 500,000 inode files and I'm going to say dev slash sdb1 okay and what will happen is actually a, a new UUID uh, will not make a file system here okay so so what happened is it did what it's supposed to do. Okay, so if I do DFF and I. Now we have. Okay, so. Oh, okay. I have to unmount it first. Okay. You mount slash Chicago and I run this command So what I'm going to do now is, uh, uh, did I run this command already? What is it saying? Oh, okay. I have to run the command. <laughs> I just typed in there. I didn't run the command here. You mong slash Chicago and hit enter okay i do df hyphen h 
it's not mounted anymore now I'm going to run the command okay so see it goes through the same same process here as we did here it's the same exact command here but we are uh, we are specifying the i notes so it's the same exact command from here right mkfs but we didn't specify the i notes at this moment here what what, what happened why not because uh, system is smart enough to assign appropriate i nodes here okay so you're not going to have that many 500,000 files in a small place okay so based on that it will assign the i nodes here so we gave 500,000 but it still calculated how much it could accommodate so it gave us 500 500 500,224 i nodes okay so this will be the output if you do df hyphen h and um, df hyphen i so chicago is not there so if i do mount hyphen a it won't work can't find the label here why because it will rewrite the label also l b b l k i d if you run b l k i d so what happened here is if you see it's re rewriting bunch of information here so the uuid is changed too let's compare the uuid and the label is gone so if you compare the UUID, it's different here, right? Let's just match the last. So if you just look last five digits here, the UUID is different here, okay? So what you do is you just run this label here. So before I forget. Um, UUID UUID and label will be uh, erased new UUID is assigned and a label will be erased new UUID will be ab added and label will be okay label will be erased here so since we already have mounted here let's uh, just run that uh, label command I'm going to clear this So I'm going to type E to label uh, E to label okay slash dev slash sdb1 and then I'm going to give the label name here okay now I should be able to do mount hyphen a and if I do df hyphen h is there the Chicago is there if I do df hyphen i and the i nodes is back there so now so we have um, okay so okay so now once we when we run this here uh, all data all data will be gone with the above command here so this is dangerous kind of okay yeah I, you normally don't do it all all data will be erased okay so 
you running this is kind of senseless here for me i would never run this um i'll just tell them to remove some junk files so all the data is released it's actually as if you are reformatting it so but uh, i thought you should know how to do this okay so it's it's essential for you to know this here okay so let's see here um uh let's see i did this this uh, new generator and let me put this uh, command back and I'm gonna do mount have a name And it should be back here. DFF and I, and your information should be back here. Okay. All right, so it's a lot of information here, guys. I mean, we are going into deep, deep Linux uh, environment here, and it's a deeper learning now. It's a skill level is the skill level. This skill level is um, more than a, you should consider this a advanced skill topics. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have. Uh, another partition here if you look at the size of the disk um, so we have we added one disk yesterday right and this is SDB1. So we did F disk and uh, we installed uh, So so far this is how our, how our disk looks like. Okay, so our disk is looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to merge this. So it was a 16 GB disk, right? Um, uh, cat rock partitions so the size of the disk is um, 16 GB 
okay in that we used up okay 16 GB is what is 16 GB is slash as uh, dev slash sdb okay and uh, we have one partition here partition 1 which is 4 GB we use 4 GB right yeah and we use dev slash sdb 1 and the partition type is ext4 Okay. Sir, does this information uh, 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 tells us that there is okay? Yes, sorry, I got it. You got it right now, but but yeah, I want to know what was the question. Sir, I was I was just trying to figure out how how you got to know the, this four GB size. So uh, when I saw in front of SDB one, there is four one nine four three zero four, so which is like four G. So yeah, I got it. Yeah. So I thought there was one other command that shows you good information here. Uh, let's see here. No, the the good command is lsblk. Okay. Yeah, the, use this command here instead of the anything else. Okay, so lsblk. So when you do lsblk. Okay, you'll see the output here, okay? How are you gonna do? You're gonna zero on SDB1, and this is the information here. Okay, so, uh, hold on, let me, you mount. Okay, so this is how you get to see the information here. And it's a 16 GB. And out of that only four is being used here, okay? So this is good at this moment here. So the size of the disk is uh, 16 GB and 4 GB is uh, um, 4 so GB partition is this here. Now what we're going to do is uh, will have a multiple partition uh, no my uh, we're gonna have a, a multiple file systems okay so I'm gonna Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do partition 2. It's, it's, this is not readable here, right? So, okay, good. So I'm going to have partition 2, another 4 GB. And uh, this time around, it will automatically be dev slash sdb. What is going to be the number? sdb2. Yes, very good. And we're going to use XFS file system. Okay. So XFS is... Uh, uh, 
XFS file system is yeah I mean I explained this yesterday so the the sizes and uh, so I'm going to make a note here. Current status of the disk with the partitions. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to a different color here which is easy on my eyes Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to clear this. So I'm going to do uh, ls blk and uh, based off of this I'm going to I got this information here and uh, okay so now what I'm going to do is what am I going to do now I want to create a partition so I have to type the fdisk command fdisk slash dev slash sdb okay now you gotta be careful uh, how you run these commands here. I'm gonna copy this. Hit enter. Okay, and I'm gonna do M for menu. Okay, and then I'm going to go P to print the uh, partition table, okay? So how I was doing this here. Yeah. Um, M2. M and then do P when you type P it will print out the partition information here okay so this is the existing partition number partition this is device dev slash sdb1 and it's starting at this and it's ending at this 
when we create a, a new boot device I mean a new partition it will start from this number and then whatever number we choose it will stop it and it will have this many blocks here uh, 4194 uh, so normally you did divide this number with uh, divide this with uh, 1024 I think uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about that here so if you're not sure how to do this just put in Google here and the bytes size here so let's go ahead and create uh, create a new partition here so it's going to be SDB 2 so we're gonna uh, create what is it to create partition here um, add new partition so put n yeah somebody got a question sir oh why why it's showing uh, uh, this this cast uh, 17.2 GB and that's how it is what it is is the uh. disk is uh, um, the disk itself is uh, SDB one. Oh, okay hold on it's, uh, it's supposed to show you 16 GB right so yeah let's go in here that's a good question We did this 16. Sixteen GB seventeen point two GB. <laughs> Let me clear this. Uh, so if we do LSBLK over here is doing 16 GB so this information is correct here I'm not sure why is it doing here so I'll find out I'll find out why why is showing that information here okay uh, okay so hold on the correct information will be um, change print partition information quit Create a new empty sun disk. So let me do uh, print partition information. And it is it is showing a seventeen two F dist unit sectors disk. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not worried about it now. But I'll find out um, why it's uh, giving us a uh, wrong information. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Okay, so let's continue on with our, um, so I'm going to create new and, and I'll hit enter. Okay, now it says primary partition. You want to make a primary partition? Yes. But remember yesterday I told you primary partitions, you could have no more than four. So this is going to be um, three, it says uh, one is already used and um, three are free under primary partitions here. So I'm going to push one and hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to push P and hit enter. Okay. Okay. So let me copy that. Um, no, not P N. New for 
so I okay quit already so select P or one okay go new and then it says uh, primary partition so just type P and hit enter okay and uh, partition number default is two so just hit two and enter okay or you could just simply hit enter here default is two already so you to hit enter and so here, what is the extended partition uh, so a partition a partition system okay let me see here see here so here let me see this uh, okay yeah this is this is a good example here so don't don't look at this what is mbr this year so a partition could have you could have like four partitions here one two three four and if you want to have more than four partition what you have to do is you have to you have to create partition inside those partitions extended partition so it will be considered an extended partition here so in here we have primary one primary um, primary C D E and then this would have been F but you created an extended partition and you want F and G so if you want to have like more than five partitions that's when the extended partition is come I'm sorry more than four partitions okay so yeah this is the if you have four primary partition that's it you cannot have more than four primary partition but if you want to have five partitions here what you could do is you could create you could actually create primary partition and you could create extended partition in there too but you could wait until three partitions have used up fourth one you could you could use it as a primary too once the fourth partition is done you cannot create an extended partition so when you're creating a, a primary partition and you know you need more than four partitions here so you choose the last one as a extended partition and you and in there i think you could create unlimited extended partitions okay, okay. yeah so there is some good information that's a good question yeah i should have uh, put it in here motion detected at your back door I'll, I'll put it here i'll just put it here then i'll after the class i'll determine where to put this here okay so now it's selecting the first sector is it's selecting this as a first sector here why is it selecting from this part as a first sector Okay, uh, let me get rid of this here. Okay, so if you look closely here, the starting point would be 2048 and the ending point is 8390655. Okay, and so then the starting point for this is 83905 655 is ending and 655 is uh, 656 this is the starting point here did you get it so the ending point 
so it's just like here from here to here is one block and from here to here is another block here okay it's just the addressing okay so if you want to accept this just hit enter most of the time you must hit enter and then I'm going to create another last sector would be I'm going to create a plus sign for G okay here you have four kilobyte megabyte or gigabyte you could create a megabyte too I wouldn't recommend that okay so here is a, from here to here it's actually taking everything here but we we're giving you only four gigabytes here so plus 4g okay you hit enter and I'm gonna make sure P2 view the uh, partition information here okay so let me copy this part okay and now you have a new partition is created Sir, it didn't ask anywhere about uh, this partition to be in XFS. Not yet. Not yet. After we save and exit, then we'll run this from the command line, okay? Okay, sure. okay then I'm going to do write and exit, okay? When you do write and exit, it will save the, um, save the partition information here, okay? All right, so let me idolize this here. And uh, paste this in here, right and exit. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um, so let me clear this, let me do LSBLK. So the partition is it's created here, but the system doesn't know yet. BLKID. And uh, let's see, SDB2. SDB2 is not showing up here still. So what we're going to do is, we're going to um, run the uh, command here. So what is the... Uh, so we're going to run the XFS command. Okay, so uh, mkfs dot xfs is the same command as uh, this one here. Mkfs uh, ext four, right? So where was that? everything is same here so mkfs.ext4 so i'm gonna go here and say mkfs.xfs and then what do you want which drive you want to do it dev slash sdb2 motion detected at your back door okay so let me copy this.
okay and hit enter uh what is this uh, usage uh, mkfs no such file or directory clear this um, I'm gonna say F disk hyphen I if for information dev slash SDB oh god and I'm going to do print partition dev slash SDB2 is there So I'm going to quit here, I'm going to type part probe here, P-A-R-T-P-R-O-B-E, okay, so let me do L-S-B-L-K, okay, now here, okay, so I think you do have to run this command before you run the part probe. You run this command part probe here. What is part probe doing? It's going in and probing the parts. It's refreshing the refreshing the operating system memory for the devices here. So we created the device using FDS command, but the operating system kernel doesn't know it's there yet. So it it will eventually will know when it refreshes itself but it uh, when we ran this command we can have expedited um, its registry to the operating system here okay and now what you have to do is uh, run that command again uh, mkfs slash dev slash db2 okay yeah it it worked this time Okay, and if you see here, uh, this output is a lot much cleaner out here. Size is 512, uh, byte size. Did I think I already explained this here, right? Each time, each, each four kilobyte. If the file is six kilobyte, is gonna use eight kilobyte. Did I explain this yesterday? I think I explained this already. Yes, sir. I think you did. Hmm. What is missing? Yeah, right here. Yeah. So this is too much information. We don't we don't need to worry about that. That's more of a scientific information here. We don't have to deal with this as much. Here, right? Now what I'm gonna do is uh, now the part partition I made is four GB here. You don't have to stay with four GB, okay? You could you could make it any any size you want okay now if you do lsblk or a blk id sir uh, yeah suppose uh, 
if we want to extend once we created the 4gb file system for sbd2 if you want to decrease or increase the increase that uh, particular uh, file system how do we do that so we have to follow the same process yeah you have to uh, follow the same process um what I, what i'm thinking is uh, should i uh, uh yeah you could you could definitely extend the partition you have to unmount and uh, matter of fact I, I was going to show you that thing uh, next okay okay so but here's the thing here if you have partition 3 and if you want to uh, increase partition 2 you kind of stuck there here you cannot increase it uh here you could increase it because these are the the sectors are locked in okay, okay. Uh, why is it locked in because from this from here to here the sectors are logged in okay so uh, okay so if there are three partitions already so we cannot uh, increase the second partition or decrease the second partition at one point no right now right now we could increase the second one we cannot increase the first one okay so if we if we have a third partition here so we could make this entire the third partition a partition one partition okay but mm -hmm. once once we have a third partition we cannot increase this number one and number two anymore okay so in that case we need to create a third partition and uh, in, uh, assign like 5 GB or 6 GB um, your now you have to pre-plan how you want to do this here okay the so first partition you have to determine so when it's time for creating a second partition you determine okay is the first partition good do we do we ever need to extend the first partition at all or not okay so what you have to do is you have to um, actually you have to delete the partition and create a new one but okay. it will be easier but if you delete the partition the whole data will be gone <laughs> whole data will be gone when you run this when you run this command here this is a most dangerous command okay Okay, so let me take this out. Yeah, so Okay, so what will happen is uh, I should I should put this here. 